This statement is for Park, is for uh, Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanick. Her uh, Parks Ranger Preston was out here today under the excuse of, oh, I'm just checking to see if you're still utilizing the space. Uh, apparently trying to distance himself to make it look like he's not part of the 24-7 illegal surveillance. Does it look like the space isn't being utilized? And he wasn't alone. There were several of them out here. I'm, I'm guessing at least two other men besides him. He ran his mouth loud enough that I captured it on the recording that I'm about to, the audio recording I'm about to upload to Google Drive and then share it in an email and on my Twitter. Uh, but when they were out, they were conniving about something. They needed to come out here to plan something, one, off of surveillance because they, they realized their phones and everything else is under surveillance, so they got to come out here and do it in person. I don't know whether they're planning on bringing a tree down on my head or having another sniper take pot shots. But as you can see, I chose a spot specifically so that it's there's a there's no line easy line of sight for any sniper to fire bullets in into there. They're gonna have to come up here. They're gonna actually get within view of a trail cam multiple trail cams, and they're hidden because they're wrapped in mylar. They're not going to be picked up by any thermal imaging. They're motion activated, and they run on 18650s, and they're put in a, specifically so that wildlife can't set them off. So they're going to have to be on video. Not that DOJ or Kuzi needs my trail cam video, they've already shown me that they don't need none of my recordings. Everything these motherfuckers talked about out here, but see, when they wanted to start conniving, they talked low enough that they thought I couldn't hear what they were saying. So I don't know whether they were taking a look at the landscape to find a good sniper POV line of sight or whether they're trying to figure out which tree to climb and saw it off. So when the winds come along, it falls onto my shit. I don't know what the fuck they were up to. But just because they're not doing it on their phones, with the fact that they had to come out here and do all that, okay, that's first degree murder. It don't matter whether I die from a bullet, from a tree falling on my head, and Mr. Preston, since you're watching this too, your stupid ass was mandated by law to refer this shit over to Koozie and get Koozie out here to talk to me. You're refusing to do that. You keep coming out here fucking with me, sending your little pal Janelle down here to fuck with me and lie to me and gaslight me. Your ass is going to prison. You're going to be just like Diddy. I keep telling you motherfuckers, DOJ and Koozie's giving y'all motherfuckers enough rope so that when you are locked up, you are held without bail. And what do you do? Keep doing stupid shit so you end up like Diddy. This is a level of stupidity nobody can fucking fathom. I told you repeatedly, Koozie's using me as bait. What do you keep doing? Swallowing it, hook, line, and fucking sinker. And you're a fucking park ranger that works with Vermont Wildlife, so don't tell me you don't understand the bait and switch concept. You watch, you're watching your boy Eric Adams and his entire administration go down You're hell-bent on going down with them. I'm happy to oblige. So anyway, for Kuzi and, and uh, DOJ and the mayor, what they were plotting, I don't know. But the good news is that recording can be 
filtered. And luckily, DOJ has the technology to pull all those voices forward and hear exactly what the fuck they were talking about. So, y'all can come out here and run your mouths and, and talk low in hopes that my microphone don't pick it up. Uh, it's going to get picked up. Will we be able to hear it with our naked ears on the recording? Probably not. But DOJ and the FBI can absolutely filter out any background noise and pull voices forward, meaning make them louder so they can hear exactly what the fuck you dumb bastards were talking about. You were conniving about something. Why else go through the effort of talking low enough that you thought I couldn't hear or that it wouldn't be picked up on a microphone? Knowing you weren't supposed to be out here in the first motherfucking place. You know you're under criminal investigation. That means you have a conflict of interest. That means if you think you need to come out here for any reason, you have to let Koozie do that. Oh, I want to see if you're still utilizing the motherfucker. You've got me under surveillance 24-7 like you don't already know. You really think that bullshit's going to fly with me? You and all your pals are going down in flames. And ain't nobody doing it but you. Because you do stupid shit, run your fucking mouths, dry snitch each other out. You're hanging yourselves. I don't have to do anything. Fuck, I was dead asleep and you just came out here and, and gave them everything they need to nail you for first degree murder when, I, when this cancer does finally kill me. You can be charged and imprisoned with attempt and then once I actually die, the charges can be amended so you go to death row in Florida. Oh, well, I'm in Vermont. Yes, but Florida will be filing their own charges. There will be special statewide prosecutors and you will be brought to Florida out from your Vermont prison cell to stand trial down there. Your lawyers are stupid and you're a stupid motherfucker. That or you know you're going to death row and you're like, fuck it. If I'm going to death row, I might as well have the pleasure of killing her my damn self, my way. Why wait till the cancer kills her? That's the only logic I can think that they're they're using. Oh, well, I'll let y'all figure it out. But, yeah, anyway, this, I will not be burning fires in this. I'm going to get a smokeless, small nine-inch uh, smokeless fire pit to go in there. This is just going to be used as a frame pile rocks on top of it. I'm going to get some tin snips to cut a section of this out so I can put the stove in, get it out, and probably cut a section of this out too. That whole section will be cut out. I may just cut this part out. And uh, probably another section behind there and I'll put a chimney pipe down in there because there's always some smoke especially when you first start it up. And then that'll be basically covered in rocks. I don't want to use any cement or mortar. I want the rocks to be able to move. I want everything to be able to be taken out of here real easy on their little, the new park ranger, whoever's going to be replacing Preston and his cronies that he works, that he's got underneath of him. The new parks people, me and my team will be able to help them load all this shit up and get it out. And all there is is some rocks moved around. Who gives a shit? But anyway, that'll be covered in rocks and that'll create a thermal mass heat. Uh, I am going to get a tent stove that can go inside of my shelter, but I don't want to have to use that very often. That's strictly for emergencies. When it gets down in the sub-zero temps, I'm not going to end up with another pneumonia. I'm going to have a warm place to bathe, cook, whatever. There, it's a, Fires are a lot of work. It is not. It's dirty. 
it's smelly and it's a lot of fucking work. You don't just light a fire and leave it. You got to keep feeding it, keep fanning it. You got to clean the ash off. You got to, I'm going to have to take the chimney pipe off and knock it and get the carbon out every two or three days. No, there ain't no fucking way I'm running a stove 24 seven. And if I can have a place out here, I'm going to, this is going to be, I'm going to get a, a big clear tarp that I'm going to string up so I can keep the snow off this area and off my front door. And I'm going to put up a, that's pretty open right there to any sniper. So I may end up putting this right back over here, especially with them conniving the way they are. Or I'll probably put up a bushcraft wall. Between this tree and this tree. And make it a gate. And make it string it up with jute twine. So it's all natural materials. And make sure it's uh, probably put some uh, rocks up along there too. So it'll stop any bullets. Because there's all kinds of... I mean you got that, that mound right there. So the sniper's going to have to be just right in here because you got that rock formation that one so it's not an easy spot so that's probably why they had to come out here and either find a good spot for the sniper or find a decide which tree they're going to climb up and saw it halfway through so and, and I wouldn't be able to see it from down here they can shimmy up them trees and saw it halfway through so when the wind comes along it comes over I don't know what fuck they were up to but they were up to something that's for sure he damn sure wasn't coming out here to see if I was still utilizing the space you can see this green this bright green motherfucker from the trail over there he didn't even have to come here to see if I was still utilizing the space especially when the bitch is part of the surveillance they know my every move every minute of the day fucking idiots. No wonder you dumb bastards are going down in flames. Y'all, I mean, you all have risen stupid to a level that is just fucking inconceivable.